So you've decided that an overhead crane is exactly what you need for your business to take it to the next level. That's awesome. But why is it so freaking expensive? Well, in this episode of Cranes 101, we're covering the cost of an overhead crane. Devin here from Mazzello Companies, and today we're tackling why an overhead crane is so expensive, what factors affect the cost, and what are the ranges of price of an overhead crane, because you really need to be as informed as possible with this big, expensive, extravagant purchase. It's a lot of money, it can do a lot of things, but the more you know, the better. So I brought back our sales engineer, Chris Whitney, to tell me why the price is so high. When you're purchasing an overhead crane, you're not just purchasing a piece of equipment to move materials, you're purchasing a piece of safety equipment as well. Capacity, your speeds, duty cycle, everything has a play in pricing up an overhead system. So it's an investment into safety, but it can also up the production value of your company. But if you're doing well enough to where you can afford an overhead crane, if you can buy it outright, should you do that? Or should you finance it instead? Financing is typically a route to go. Typically when you speak with a bank to discuss your financing options, one proposal is not enough. Two or three is, is the usual number that I've seen my clients look at. Um, I've seen people go as high as five or six proposals to make sure that they're getting the best deal for the options that they're looking for. So Chris walked me through some of the quotes that he put together just so I can see the dollar amounts of some of these overhead crane systems. And I'm gonna be honest with you that when I saw the dollar amount, I kind of lost my appetite. I kind of had trouble sleeping. It's a pretty substantial number. So I wanted to know what affects the cost of an overhead crane? What drives that price so high? The type of crane does have a driving force on the price. A single girder crane typically costs less than a double girder crane. And that's because you have different components that are a little bit more robust, as well as more steel and fabrication time. So Chris told me that one of the biggest factors in buying your overhead crane is determining exactly what type you need for your business, now and in the future, depending on what you plan on doing. But he told me that not only the type is important, but also the duty cycle. Duty cycle is paramount in determining the components that we're gonna put on a crane. So if we're working in a CMAA Class C duty cycle, you're looking at about 50% capacity lift five to 10 times per hour. Once you go beyond that, you're looking more in a Class D duty cycle, which is beyond that 50% capacity, more towards 75%, and then more lifts per hour. So basically, you're getting a longer bearing life, allows you a little bit more on the motor start stops per hour, which again, will give you longevity in your crane's life. So Chris told me that your crane span, the height of it, and the working environment are three big components for the cost of how much it's going to be. However the span is, or however wide your facility is, will have a big impact on the steel. However high your hook has to travel will dictate the size of the drum that you need, how much wire rope you'll need to raise that. And then if you need it to go faster or not, there's extra componentry costs to make it go faster or slower. And then working environment is also a safety factor. If you need to be in a spark resistant area, or if you need explosion proof componentry, that can all be done, but there's extra cost to engineering and other factors that take into account for that. But in addition to that, whether or not you're building into an existing runway or if you're going to manufacture something new, that's a big part as well. So when you're putting a crane into an existing space, the things we want to look at are the clearances that we have. If you've got a 5-ton crane on a runway, but you want to upgrade and put a 10-ton crane on there, you may have a space designed around that 5-ton crane. So if we're going to be putting a larger crane in that area, you want to make sure that we're going to fit everything into that space and not have to make any modifications to your building. So how much will this cost you? Figuring out the type, the duty cycle, all those other factors, those are all important. But another part is figuring out when you need it installed. Will it be normal working hours? Will it be off hours? Will it be holiday hours? All those can be accommodated, but there is some cost to it as well. So to help explain the cost of these cranes, I'm gonna have Chris go through each crane from bridge all the way down to workstation and give you a range. All these will dictate depending on what you need, how big it's gonna be, what it's gonna do, but this will give you a good base range of what it's gonna be for normal components. So a typical five ton top running single girder crane, roughly 40 foot span, price range for that's 25 to $30,000 with normal installation. So an engineered gantry, about five ton, 40 foot span again, with the rail, you know, up to 100 feet with installation will run you about seventy dollars to $80,000. So a two-ton monorail about 20 foot long with the hoist and installation will run you about $20,000. That's all dependent on whether it's hanging from the ceiling or floor mounted as well as the length of the monorail. 
The price of a workstation crane has a lot of variance to it. You have a wide range of capacities, anywhere from 250 pounds up to 4,000 pounds. You can go up to 34 foot wide. You can also have a range of support centers, also hanging from the ceiling or freestanding. A typical system at one ton capacity, 25 foot long by 20 feet wide, with installation and ceiling mounted is probably gonna range you about $15,000 to $20,000. Jib cranes can also have a wide variance in pricing. You have wall mounted jib cranes, you have freestanding jib cranes, you have short spans, lighter capacity, you have longer spans with higher capacity and also motorized rotation. So again, you have a, a wide variance in pricing. A typical one ton, 10 foot span, 10 foot below boom, freestanding jib crane with installation will run you about $15,000 without the foundation being included. So hopefully this video helped give you a better understanding of the cost of an overhead crane and what factors attribute to that. If you like this video, definitely check out the rest of the Cranes 101 series. And while you're there, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on anything else that we've got in the pipeline. At Mazzello Companies, we have a highly trained team of lifting specialists that are specifically there to make sure that you're lifting what you need to lift with the proper equipment as safe as possible. And we welcome the opportunity to address any of your lifting needs as they come up. If you'd like to schedule a consultation on your forthcoming project, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be happy to talk to you. And thank you for watching.